uh, you sort of, oh, uh, okay. The, the Q uh, um, sort of nudged them late in the game and said, we need to get Sadie's in the games. Uh, if you could sort of take us through sort of that game, the things that you saw and why you were sort of uh, thinking that Sadie's needed to be in there at that time. Yeah, Minnesota always does an amazing job game planning uh, for us. And in that game, specifically, Carlton was on Stewie and they were coming to trap big with Dantes. Um, but as the, the game flowed, I think another adjustment that you saw was Sue played more on the wing. Um, and what you saw within that, the last four minutes was just a comfort level of players who have been in our system. And I think though Mercedes was coming off of, you know, coming from overseas, she's been, um, I, I like to call Sadie's a, a point forward in that she she's a post player, but she thinks the game like a guard and, um, you know, little things that she knows within what we do in our system, whether it's setting a screen or just moving the ball, the little nuances that we have, um, she's, very in, in, inapt in that way. And in that moment, I, I just think obviously playing against Sylvia Fowles, we did need some size, we did re, need some rebounding, but more than anything, we just needed some uh, a, a commonality in our feel, some familiarity in our feel. And that's what Sadie's provided. She came right in, she cut, she got a layup, she got a stop, she got a rebound. Um, and that last group that finished the game is a group that has been here for a good while. And, you know, sometimes on the road, it's hard, you know, you go through a lot of things and adjustments within the game and, you know, a win is a win and it, it's, it wasn't necessarily ugly. We fought our way back, but what you saw was a group on that, uh, on the last group that, you know, had spent some time together in spite of Sadie's not being here um, in training camp. Hey, and, you know, and then to like that right there, in the uh, games that were close, um, I'm not including your, uh, the double digit win uh, against Vegas the, in the opener, but in the games that were close, you guys have used three different finishing lineups. Um, just your thoughts on just uh, what goes into that, and is there anything to read into that, or you know, do you think that the lineups at the end will be different for every other game? Is that matchups, or just how, or at what point in time do you guys want to get, I guess folks sort of comfortable in their role and kind of knowing what's going to be, you know, coming. Right. Um, it's still very early, Percy. And so what you are witnessing is us trying to figure it out. Um, we had two weeks of a training camp, but if you think about the players that we had within our training camp, <laughs> they're not necessarily here. And so it is trying to um, work uh, itself out and so to speak. Um, but I think now moving forward, you will start to see more consistency in our lineups and in our, our roles. And once we get a feel for um, that, then you know players are gonna be in their roles and have a little bit more consistency and comfort and in, in, in being successful within their roles. If you think about it, now we are without Katie Lou. And so there's going to be another adjustment. I think once we have a, a good quality a, a amount of time, um, where we can um, have all of our players on our roster here and kind of go through, you know, we might not have enough time to practice, but um, just to, you know, begin to see where players um, excel in certain roles in certain times of the game, in certain lineups, I think that'll be more consistent once our group is here and it still isn't quite here yet. And so that's what we are. We are searching for, um, we are searching right now and it is early, but, um, you know, we're, we're about, what, five? This is going to be our fifth game. And I think now we, we are getting a feel for what we need to do and how we need to finish games. Do you have a timetable then for Katie Lou? I'm not quite sure. Jeff may know more than I do. Um, but, you know, her three-on-three -three stuff is taking place right now. Um, and so whenever she's completed with that, then um, we'll have her back in the fold. And it, it would seem like this week would be the first time in a long time that you guys would actually have some time for practice. Um, <laughs> any, right, uh, yeah, any, thing that, that you, any particular thing, priority-wise, that you want to get done this week in practice? Yeah, I mean, obviously just timing. And I go back to just familiarity. You know, we have 
a core group that has been here, but we have a lot of new pieces. And so again, the training camp um, didn't really have time to incorporate those pieces. Um, legit before our first game, uh, Katie Lou only spent a day with us. Um, so what practice does is allow us to kind of reset um, and refocus on the details of what needs to happen, the nuances within our offense, um, the rotations in our defense, um, the things that you can really pinpoint and practice that maybe you can't tweak within a game or on the road when you're playing every other day. Practice allows you to focus on um, what you see in film, um, the corrections that you can make and, and, and really wrap it out. I think that's what's going to be big for this team is just to get reps with one another. You already know um, repetition is, what is the phrase? <laughs> Uh, long story short, repetition is what's needed uh, for success. And I think um, we will uh, practice just allows that, allows you to get a feel for your teammate to see where they like to get the ball, what cuts are needed to be made, but most importantly, um, execution. And so um, I, I love the fact that we'll be here for a couple of weeks and able to practice with one another with our group. Awesome, coach. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, Percy. And just to let you know, it's, uh, we're, we're hoping to have her back by the 31st is what it sounds like. Um, so I, I don't know what the timetable will be once she actually lands with all the COVID protocols and everything that she'll need to go through. But that's that's our goal is to have her back on the 31st. Um, we have a little technical issue. The, the link that we have is not working for everyone. And there are a whole bunch of people waiting, apparently, in another room. Um, I'm sending a quick link in the chat. Can we all sign out here and sign back in on that other chat? And hopefully that will be the one that we can get everybody together on. Um, give me just a minute. 